This is Richard again. I'm coming to talk to you about a, a thing that affected my life as a fisherman. This has to do with uh, when they take all of the natural resources that all of us as Americans have in our country at one time, all the resources, and privatize them, this privatization, the taking of what was once the commons that we all owned and transferring it into the hands of a few of the fortunate ones. Um, the fortunate ones just happen to be major corporations, international corporations. So let's go on with that. I'll tell you my story. I started fishing in 1984 for uh, long lining that's putting hooks in the water off the coast of Washington. And uh, as a consequence of doing it at that time in history, uh, I qualified for the giveaway of the, the fish in the ocean. In other words, all the fish in the ocean in the territorial waters of the United States were all given away through the Magnuson Act, and that is the, the act that took the that created the National Marine Fisheries Act. Now, the National Marine Fisheries Act took all the fish in our continental waters, that's out to 200 miles, and divided them into five areas. My particular area was the Pacific region, the Pacific coast. What they did for my kind of fishing is they said that you had to have been fishing in 19, uh, between uh, 1986 and 1991. If you weren't there and didn't deliver a qualified amount of fish, then you were not eligible for uh, a quota. Now, a quota is an amount of fish that you can catch uh, per year. And uh, uh, I was fortunate enough to be given a quota, a fishing license. But what has happened is that the Ma National Marine Fisheries Act took the fish away from you. That's you, the owner, the American people, the owner. And the vast majority of these fish in the, in the Pacific region, where I'm from, were given to multinational corporations that were fishing our shores early. They were fishing our shores with giant destructive draggers. I'm talking 150 foot boats with nets that reach out a quarter of a mile. And uh, these are the kind of ocean destroying uh, uh, midwater nets that uh, kill just about everything. And then as soon as it's on the deck, they throw away everything dead. The, th the very kinds of fishing that destroy the fisheries are the ones that were most rewarded. The draggers, they got uh, giant quotas of fish. And uh, the vast majority of these draggers and the fish were all caught by uh, foreign fleets. Now, the foreign fleets, they, of course, wouldn't have any rights to the American fish except for they took their quota that they caught and put it on to an American corporation so that uh, the fish and when the quotas were given out, the massive quotas were given to foreign or corporations hiding in back of American corporations. So this is why Reagan, at the end of his uh, tenure as president, went to Japan and ended up with a $2 million campaign, whatever gift they gave him for this or that, is because he transferred the fish, all the fish in the ocean, basically, into the hands of corporations. Like I said, at one time, you owned those fish in the water. You had a right to go out and catch as many fish as you wanted to within reason. You could go catch them, and then you could bring them in and you could sell them. But no, they set it up so that only some people can go catch them. And those, for the most part, aren't even people. They're corporations. So with that in mind, and that's what's on my mind today, I bet you have a good day, you guys. Okay, bye.